if you could update your work on the go, report time and expenses while commuting or between meetings. How about collaborating with your colleagues from anywhere in real time? Clarison's mobile application allows you to do just that. It gives you full flexibility to view all of the data you need while maintaining your organizational workflows and other work-related requirements. After a one-time login, either with your Clarison credentials or using SSO, you will be directed to your personal Clarison homepage. You can now access any module by clicking the navigation icon. The main navigator provides access to your personal property card and to the different modules exactly the way you have them in your desktop app. Having the same configuration as the desktop app is something that we made sure to include in every action you take in the mobile app in order to allow for experience continuity that is independent of the device you are using. The navigation panel also provides you with the ability to quickly perform travel-related actions such as time reporting and uploading receipts for expense reports. Let's review the expense report in more detail. In order to submit the expense, click on the expense icon, which opens a customizable form, the same as the one in the desktop app. After giving the expense a title and providing some basic details, you can use the device's camera to upload the receipt, then click Save. The expense will automatically be assigned to an expense sheet and will go through the same business logic it would have in the desktop app. Let's review another example. Let's drill down to the Tasks module. Each module in Clarison provides you with a list of the relevant items on your plate. For instance, the Task module shows you a list of all of your tasks. You can fine-tune this list by applying appropriate filters directly from the bottom toolbar or simply search for the task you need via the search bar placed at the top of the screen. You can also add a new task by clicking the Add button and filling in the relevant fields in the customizable form that opened. Let's click on the Review Documentation task to get detailed information about the task and its related items. You also have the ability to edit the task's properties as well as perform various actions, such as marking the task active. Additional actions can be accessed by clicking on the three-dot icon. Drilling down to any single item also provides a complete view of the item's information, including discussions, files, or any other related information. Let's see the related files associated with this task as an example. From here, you can drill down to any file and review it in context. You can also attach new files to the task either from the device's camera or from the complete file list you have in Clarizen. Let's go back to the task and move to a different relation, the resources of the task. Drilling down to any resource will give you access to his contact information, which, since you are using a mobile phone, also includes the ability to call, text, or email him directly from within the app without having to save the contact to your device's address book. Now, let's have a look at the Timesheet module. Here you can update your time, as well as review the hours already reported for this week. You can quickly navigate between weeks by swiping the screen left and right, or by clicking the date selector. In this module, and for that matter, in any other module within the mobile app, you can access the item's relevant actions directly from the list view, without drilling down to the item detail view, by simply swiping the line to the left revealing a quick action menu. In this case, for example, you have quick access to duplicating the time entry or to starting a stopwatch. The quick action menu is unique for each of the different modules available. Clarison's mobile app not only provides you access to your work, but also enables you to collaborate with your colleagues in real time. Clicking the collaboration icon will take you directly to the social feed where you can read recent messages reply and like them, or even start a new discussion. The social module also allows you to navigate between your different groups and even join new groups, as well as create new discussion groups. You don't have to worry about losing your context when accessing the social stream. With a click of a button, you can quickly return to the page you were on and continue your work exactly where you left off. To learn more about Clarison, be sure to check out the other tutorials available in our training center and our wiki help site.
We also highly recommend signing up for one of our daily live beginner or advanced webinars, where one of our Clarison experts can answer any of your questions. If you haven't tried out Clarison yet, be sure to do so with our free 30-day trial. Thanks for your interest in Clarison. See you back soon.